is designed to make your life more engaging, meaningful, and complete. Celebrating the baby boomer generation, this is Boomer Life. And good morning. Welcome to Boomer Life. This is Tom Lucas on AM650 Radio. Boomer Life is a celebration of the baby boomer's lifestyle. It's all about feeling good and being happy. And I've got two gentlemen in the studio right now that help you feel good and be happy. Dr. Bobby Birdie. Good to see you again, Bobby. How you doing? I'm doing well. Darn I? Yes. <laughs> I feel like I want to put my hand in front of my face sometimes when I have a couple of doctors in here. And Ron Zokel, great to see you again, Dr. Ron. <laughs> Good morning, Tom. Have you been having a wonderful time since we saw you last? Oh, phenomenal time. <laughs> Holy cow. I think if we're lucky today, we're going to be hearing from some of your real happy patients. Well, I hope so. I hope someone will call in. That'd be great. Yeah, that'd be uh, outstanding. You've got um, uh, some new digs on Broadway. We do. Yeah, I had a chance to go through lovely offices. I know. It's, uh, it's something we designed for a while, and it's nice to finally be open and running. Now, how many other doctors are working there with you? Uh, right now, it's myself and three other specialists. And then uh, we have Ron Zokel coming as well. And mm-hmm. He'll be in the new office, and he's out in our equipment office as well. And, Ron, you were saying about six weeks you've been making that move? That's what I'm anticipating. Wow. It's going to be got a great view there. Well, it's quite a transition process, uh, re- removing your one facility into another. I'll bet. Oh, I'll yeah. bet. And, of course, you also have offices in, is it Coquitlam? Yep, Coquitlam. Coquitlam. That's great. It's all just off of um, Johnson and Glen, right next to the, the Quitlam Center there. We've been open since November there. It's a great little center. It's awesome. I'll put you on the spot. Do you remember your own phone number? Because a lot of people people don't remember their own phone numbers because they never call themselves, right? Uh, I right. do. I do. I think it's 604-872-0222. Nicely done. Yeah. Now, how about the Vancouver office? Oh, that is the Vancouver office. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You see? Uh, there you go. Okay. Do you, do you have the number for Coquitlam Handy? If not, I... I think it's uh, 604-936-8244. You can always get the information on your website. Absolutely. Which is? Is bcperio.ca. That's B-C-P-E-R-I-O dot C-A. Guy's pretty good. Yeah, he's Try on top of it. Around. Yeah. That's right. I'm on the spot. It's tough. You know, people sometimes have problems with their teeth. Well, sometimes. Other guys, you would be doing something else for a living. But people have problems with their teeth. And a lot of times they think what I should do is get them torn out of my head and have some false teeth put in and that's not really a good way to go <laughs> it depends on the condition of those teeth i guess <laughs> <laughs> we see people that that do require that and it's in their best interest and best health if they do have that process done but anytime we see teeth that could potentially last 10 or more years we try to save them absolutely and isn't it true too if, if somebody has a tooth extracted and doesn't put anything in there to replace it that your whole face could change Oh, absolutely. Make it look a lot older? Oh, oh yeah. absolutely. Yeah, you, you, your, your bone's going to remodel if it's not stimulated, absolutely. Now, you do some procedures at your office that I thought you would have to go to another doctor to see. For example, like, uh, is it bone grafting? And, and bear with me here because I don't know all the terms. But bone grafting and something with the sinuses that people mm-hmm. need extra bone to put a absolutely. implant into? Absolutely. Yes. So we, we all types of grafting, all types of procedures that are, need, that need to, are needed are related to implant dentistry. We all do. And we do a lot of things like teeth in a day, too, which is a lot of fun. Tell me about teeth in a day. Some people go, this can't be true. Uh, Well, teeth in one day is basically teeth in a day, teeth in one day, teeth now, teeth in one visit. I don't know how many different ways people want to say it, but basically what it means is you come in and we're able to place either one or numerous implants and deliver a fixed restoration or a fixed crown or a fixed full set of teeth in one day. Now, Rod, you've been doing this for a lot of years and and people come in and I, you know, I guess they can be embarrassed by the way they look. They smile and the hand goes up in front of the face. You gentlemen take care of them, and they walk out of your office being happy as heck. Oh, for sure. And just about everybody that we speak to, with rare exception, want to make sure they're never without their teeth. So Mm -hmm. that's one of the priorities that we'll put on this process. What about age restrictions? Are there any age restrictions? Uh, You should talk to the 94-year-old I'm treating right now. (laughs) (laughs) You see it here? (laughs) Yeah, it's the youth, actually. It's the people who are fully grown in their jaw structure. So in your late teens, male or female, eh, if you're safe, you're probably waiting until 21. If you're a male, you're waiting till uh, the later years. If you're a woman, you're probably probably maturing a little bit earlier at around 16, 17 years of age. Those are the kind of considerations we have. Yeah, it always it always seems like it's the the woman who is the either the health giver or the health nagger in the family. <laughs> some truth to that. <laughs> so they're they're uh, I guess the women are actually more concerned about the way they look. Well, you'd be surprised. I think a lot of guys are are really concerned about the way they look as well. They, they won't admit it, but when they come in, they're like, "I want you know, I want to look good." Yeah. If I'm asked how many times I I think about patients who have been either men that have come in, but at the impetus of the woman in their life. Mm-hmm. Man, it's, there's an awful lot of them. And I, I like what Bobby's saying is true, is, is that uh, men are becoming more aware. Uh, they're not 
doing the same thing as they did years ago where they said, mm-hmm. I'm mad, I don't need that. Uh, they're starting to realize that for business as well as social characteristics, it's best to get these things done. Now, does somebody need to go to their regular dentist and then have a referral? Uh, not necessarily. No? You know, a lot of times we work with people and we get referrals every week, which is great, and we appreciate yeah. it quite a bit to work with our colleagues and collaborate. But people can walk in the front door as well. It's just trying to provide the most amount of care and the most amount of information for people as well. Yeah. And, and if I may, there's uh, there's one important point here. We're not trying to alienate ourselves from the people who have dentists that they really like. And, and we have value that because what we want to do is see if we can improve where they are by offering services that will complement that dentist and work with that dentist to affect the best results for these patients. Is that kind of a reason why you got into this field of dentistry? Uh, probably not. No? Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> My father was a dentist. Oh, he was a, okay. He's a prosthodontist. I spent 20 years in practice with him, but I don't think anybody who goes through dental school knows what the practice of dentistry is really like until they get into it. Yeah, the business of dentistry and the practice of dentistry, I think, are quite two different things. Well, my hats go off to you, gentlemen. There is no way I'd want to be putting my fingers in the mouth of a stranger. Because, you know, if somebody goes to the dentist's office and you sit there in the waiting room, you know that there's something wrong in everybody's mouth there. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so today, we, again, we are talking about implants and why they're so important, and we'll explore that. And you also, uh, hopefully, some of your happy uh, customers, your, your patients, will be calling into the show today. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it'd be great. Yeah. Should we maybe, what are their names? Get them a call now. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Dr. Bobby Birdie has talked to you in the past week and you want to give us a call, because what I like on this show is we can actually have true life testimonials. And there's nothing, I mean, the three of us can sit around and talk about teeth till the cows come home, but to actually have somebody who's been through the procedure, I think sure. it's a great thing. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So our telephone number, if you want to give us a buzz, if you've been to either doctor here on the show is uh, 604-280-0650. That's 604 604- uh, 604-280-0650, that's what it is. Shout out Novocaine, quick. 604-280-0650. It's Boomer Life. I'm Tom Lucas, and our special guest on the program, Dr. Bertie, Bobby Birdie and Dr. Ron Zokel. We've talked to these gentlemen before, and they do an outstanding job, and we're going to talk about more on implants and uh, just general tooth health right after this. Canada's only weekly radio show dedicated to the baby boomer lifestyle. This is Boomer Life on AM650. Missing teeth? Don't want dentures anymore? Not happy with the way your smile looks? Dr. Ron Zokel can help. As an internationally recognized authority in oral implantology, Dr. Zokel is dedicated to all your dental care needs and can help solve your dental problems and help you achieve optimum oral health. Book your free consultation or learn more at drzokel.com. That's D-R-Z-O-K-O-L.com. If you want to wake up feeling healthier, start at the place that strives to deliver the healthiest beds in Canada, Innovative Sleep Solutions. Owners Dave and Terry have over 50 years of combined sleep industry experience. They'll find you the perfect bed, and with their 120-night comfort guarantee, if it's not perfect, simply exchange it. Nature's Embrace, Rustonic, Sealy, Serta, and Simmons, including the new Medical Magnet Bed and Certified Organic Latex. Now that's innovative. Innovative Sleep Solutions. They won't be undersold. King George Boulevard near White Rock. Innovative. Sleep.ca. What is integrative healing? It's when multiple practices and naturopathic medical philosophies come together for the common good, your health. Since 1984, the three founding doctors at Integrative Naturopathic Medical Center have built their practices on the combination of modern science and traditional medicines. They believe inner health and outer beauty go hand in hand. It's this integrative approach that leads to a customized health solution, a personal plan based on your specific needs to assist in looking and feeling better. Nutrition and weight loss, pain and inflammation management, injury medicine and healthy aging, acupuncture and massage therapy, naturopathy and chiropractic service. To learn more about Integrative Naturopathic Medical Center and their wide range of integrative health options, visit integrative.ca. That's integrative.ca or call 604-738-1012. Gray skies are gonna clear up, put on a happy face. Brush off the clouds and cheer up, put on a happy face. 
Take off the gloomy mask of tragedy It's not your style You'll look so good that you'll be glad you decided to smile Hmm, I'm smiling, I'm smiling That's what it's all about, that's what this show is about It's Boomer Life and we're speaking with Dr. Bobby Birdie and Dr. Ron Zokel And that's what you gentlemen are in business for To put happy smiles and happy faces Quality of life Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We uh, just briefly spoke about your new office. Let's just chat about that a little more. Again, I had the opportunity to visit it a couple of weeks ago. Fantastic facility. Thank you. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. We've, uh, we're have we happy to be open and running, and it's been a long work in progress, but it's great. It's a great office. We're, we're happy to have a lot of real good cutting-edge technology in the office, and and uh, we just, you know, one of the coolest things we just got this last week was uh, a CT scan machine. We're the first ones in the country to get it, and it's the lowest radiation in the world, which is pretty amazing. So when someone comes in, we get something, and the and the, the scan is actually as little radiation as you would get just every day walking around using your cell phone. It's pretty easy. So uh, very, very fortunate to have it, first ones in the country to get it. And uh, when you come in for a free implant consult, you get a free scan as well, which is pretty awesome. The thing I like about your office is where you have your TV screens. That's uh, unique places mm-hmm. yeah. absolutely <laughs> on the ceiling folks <laughs> <laughs> well we, we've got a lot of tvs because the the, the center is built as a teaching center as well right so okay. we, we have dentists running through there with the pacific implant institute and, and other courses throughout the year and uh, so we've got a lot of TVs because lots of presentations going on, lots of teaching going on. I thought those were for the patients. Oh, well, that too. They Absolutely. Could be. <laughs> <I see>. Absolutely. <laughs> teeth in a day. And I keep asking you this. I mean, the devil's advocate here, but can you really do teeth in a day? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And you know, Ron, we can do it, can't we? Absolutely. We can do it. We do it all the time. It's a routine now. It. It allows us to do something more in the sense that someone comes in and if they're like a, a denture wearer for 30 years and, and we're able to, to do something for them, we'll be able to take their own denture a lot of times and mm-hmm. convert it into a fixed bridge on implants in one day. And that's a fixed bridge. It won't touch your tissues. You'll be able to chew with it, eat with it, smile with it. And it happens in one day, which is pretty amazing. You can actually go home and eat? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Sounds pretty good to me. (laughs) Sometimes I think, you know, what you gentlemen say might be too good to be true, but it's absolutely true. It is. Yeah, we've we've done lots of cases. We've got lots of photos to show. It's just a matter of coming on in and getting the information, and that's why we do this, so that people can get information. And you mentioned something about eating. You're a little bit astounded that you could actually go home and eat. And And the truth of the matter is, eating is the least of our concerns. Because the amount of force you need to bite through food and chew your food and such is a lot less than you generate when you bring your teeth together and clench. Mm. So when you don't have food between your teeth, you're generating a lot more force than when you do have food in between your teeth. So it's a good idea to keep a banana. Oh, yeah, that's right. You hold a banana in your mouth <laughs> no, for the rest of your day. <laughs> and the, the other thing, too, I like about your new office is as soon as you walk through the front door, uh, the women there at the front desk make you feel right at home. Yeah, you know, I'm really fortunate to, to have some really amazing staff that, you know, they've done nothing but the utmost ability and utmost work to, to get everything converted and get, you know, all the three offices that we have together into one spot. So it's been amazing. Walk through the front door. Hi, Tom. Want a coffee? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Makes me feel comfortable. You know, that's funny. I One of the patients that I'm treating right now, she's in her 90s, and she comes early for her appointment to have a coffee, sit down, relax, <laughs> read the paper, and then afterwards she'll tell her ride to come a half hour later so she can sit down, have another coffee. <laughs> another cup of coffee. And watch and read the paper. And it's great. That's what it's there for. It's like I have all my own little personal lounge in the waiting room. It's great. I don't mind it. I find this really interesting. Both you gentlemen talk about having older patients in your 90s, late 80s. Yes. Yeah. Why do you think these people are, I mean, what? you know, come on, I'm 85 years old. Give me a break. I have never found people at an older age, in their 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever, that are, to some degree, a happy have a degree of significant vanity where they still want to look good. They mm-hmm. still want to appear youthful as youthful. And perhaps it's a relative term depending on where you are in your age position. But uh, when they're 90, they want to look like they're 80 or 75 yeah. or 60 and or the, even that. The one thing I will say too is that, is what someone looks like and feels like when they're 75 or 80 now versus maybe 30 or 40 years ago is a big difference. I think people are much more active. They're able to do a lot more things. They're they're not, you know, just waiting around. They're doing a lot of things, which is amazing. So why not look good? Why not be able to chew and eat and change your quality of life and, you know, for any point in time you have? You know, I find it, it's what you're saying is very true. I find that back in, let's say, my grandparents' day or great-grandparents' day, people got to be 60, 70 years of age. They looked miserable. <sighs> you, you know, they, oh, I'm 70 years old. But now, like you're saying, it's a whole different story. Have yeah. you ever heard of the uh, people who would say, you know, when I get to about this age and I can't do this, I just let me go? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking, man, 
if if there was a repair process in there where you could, when you get to that age, uh, whatever it might be, and you can bring the clock back physically and mentally about 10, 15 years mm-hmm. and give you that quality of life back, wouldn't you want to continue? Yeah, it kind of makes sense. Oh, oh, absolutely. For sure. People come to see you, gentlemen. And uh, they have a procedure, and I guess this varies from person to person and procedure to procedure, but let's talk about healing time. Sure. Uh, are you out of commission for quite some time? Absolutely not. No. You know, I think a lot of times people, especially with whatever surgical procedure we do, especially with implants, a lot of times we can do that without ever having to you know, cut the tissue or, or even do a stitch. So it's great. Um, and with, with a lot of the technology we have in the office with the CT scanning and the digital impressioning and computer-guided implant surgery, we can do things really, really minimally invasive, and which is pretty nice. Yeah. And it yeah. allows healing to be, you know, really quick. A lot of people go into, go into work the next day, or if they have it working on a Friday, they go back to work Monday. It's not a problem. Yeah. And, uh, let's, and I think there's a lot of procedures that we can do that way. When we have to do more invasive procedures, what's really interesting is that the great majority of our patients actually have no pain after they come out of their procedure. I mean, and their anesthetics worn off. And th- one of the big problem we have on some of the bigger procedures that we'll do is that they take, they feel so natural and so normal, they continue with their life. But you've got to keep in mind that mm-hmm. this is area has been surgically treated mm-hmm. and you've got to let it heal. So some of the bigger procedures we do, we have to, we have to really work at letting them know they've had a surgery <laughs> done. They've got to heal before they can really get out there and get their blood pressure up and things like that. But by and large, uh, they go back to work and and have a have a pretty decent effort if their if their work is running and building their blood pressure and uh, and getting their heart rate way up there immediately after surgery. Yeah, would you cool that one just a bit? We uh, let, we talked about pain there for just a second, and thank you on that one, Bobby. You d- told the story a couple of weeks ago about uh, this big fella that yep. came in to see you. Uh, he was maybe a little bit of nervous of the procedure and some pain, and after it. He was happy. Uh, well, uh, let's put it this way. He was, he was an older man, and uh, truck driver, big guy, and he came in, and he'd been wearing dentures for the last 25 years, and comes in, and we, we place implants for him and do teeth in a day, uh, both upper and lower at the same time, so he gets a full mouth of fixed teeth in one day. And when he was done, uh, I've never seen a, a man that large cry before, but he, he was he was definitely got too teary eyed. And then he gave me the biggest hug and picked me up. And I'm not the smallest guy around. No, so, you're a pretty big boy. And, oh, boy and, sure and, and for him to for him to pick me up, well, he's a, he's a big guy too. Not too many people I'm scared of in this world, and he's one of them. So so one of your patients actually swept you off your feet. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, you know what that you know what happened this week, and not someone didn't, didn't sweep me off my, off my feet, but we had a patient come in. And she was really nervous, worried, worried, worried. And she got the procedure done. And then and at the end of the procedure, she's like, can you do the rest of them next week? And and the reason being is because a lot of times, you know, people, it's just, it's the apprehensiveness and the scared portion of just the work up to anything. It's like anything, you're getting anything done. Mm-hmm. And then when you actually get it done, you realize, you know, it wasn't that bad. And it was pretty easy. And, you know, I was numb the whole time. And, and the recovery wasn't so bad. It, it, it really allows you to go through things and you feel better about it. Um, and it happens to us every week. So do you have ways of, of dealing with, let's say, people like me? I would go in to see the doctor or the dentist, and the dentist or doctor, or doc, doc, doctor, doctor, dentist, the same thing. They would say, Tom, would you like the truth or would you like it sugar-coated? Like, oh, sugar-coated, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you deal with somebody like that? Oh, you know what? We I do the same thing. I'm like, how much of the, you have to gauge that. You have to gauge, well, how much of this do you want to know? Do you want to know all the details or not? Do you want to know about everything at all? Do you want to see the x-rays? Do you want to see things? And some of them say, yeah, I want to see everything. Mm-hmm. And, and some of them say, nope, just do it. And, just, yeah, and, absolutely. And, and that's fine. You know, it, the, the patient and whoever the patient is, it's always, they're, 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 they're in the driver's seat, and we've got to make sure we accommodate them the best we can. I like your attitude because I think if somebody was in the hospital and the doctor came in, well, here's what we're going to do. Don't tell me. <laughs> just do it, right? <laughs> yeah, a lot of times people come in and we'll say, just, we'll give you teeth back. What's in the process? Uh, you don't have to tell me that. I just want to know if I get teeth. <laughs> and you'll have them today before you leave. Yeah. Uh-huh. That makes them happy, and then they're starting to smile already. <laughs> do you ever do work where somebody, say, has gone to another company, another practice, and that particular person has not done the greatest job in the world? Uh, well, we're, it's funny. We were just <laughs> talking about that before the show. You know, it, it's becoming more and more in my practice, just being a, a certified dual specialist and, um, you know, the only one with certified specialties in both pro- both countries in the U.S. and Canada is that I get a lot of cases where things have already been attempted or they've, they're having trouble and, and or, or second opinions or, or, or things like that. And, you know, listen, we all live in glass houses and not everyone's going to do something, everything perfect every day. So when it comes to that, 
you know, it's a lot of my practice right now, absolutely. Yeah. And I've found, you know, about four or five years ago, and the amount of recovery surgeries or re revisited surgeries that we've had to do is about a quarter. We've had about a 400% increase in the amount of revision surgeries uh, done by people who didn't get quite as good a result as we would like. Wow. There's a lot of it. That's amazing. And I think you gentlemen will be open to questions from the floor if somebody was wanted to call us. Like last time we had a gentleman that called in and wanted to know about his wife because she was having a lot of a lot of pain. Then there was another lady who called in and said something about x-rays having to be sent to Germany or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that, that, was, that, really. was quite, that was quite funny. <laughs> I hope that patient comes back in and I, I hope she comes into the office because, you know, to wait four months to get a scan when I can oh, I do one in our office in about four minutes, it's mm -hmm. pretty... It's, well, that's a big difference, don't you think? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, all right. And if you have a question for our good doctors, the number is 604-280-0650. That's a local call, 604-280-0650. And uh, we don't mind taking a long-distance call either, 1-877-280-0650. Relax, guys. I'll pay for the call. <laughs> one eight seven seven two eight zero zero six fifty. It's the least I can do for the coffee because you got you got some good coffee at your office. <laughs> it's uh, Boomer Life on AM six fifty Radio. We're speaking with Doctor Bobby Birdie and Doctor Ron Zokel. And before we go to break, what's your website? Uh, BCPerio.ca. That's B C P E R I O dot C A. All right, we've got more coming up in just a minute with our good doctor dentist friends here on AM six fifty. It's all about the baby boomer lifestyle. Boomer life on AM 650. If you want to wake up feeling healthier, start at the place that strives to deliver the healthiest beds in Canada. Innovative Sleep Solutions. Owners Dave and Terry have over 50 years of combined sleep industry experience. They'll find you the perfect bed, and with their 120-night comfort guarantee, if it's not perfect, simply exchange it. Nature's Embrace, Restonic, Sealy, Serta, and Simmons, including the new Medical Magnet Bed and Certified Organic Latex. Now that's innovative. Innovative Sleep Solutions. They won't be undersold. King George Boulevard near White Rock. Innovative sleep.ca <sighs> Missing teeth? Tired of your dentures? Not sure which dental solution is right for you? Dr. Bobby Birdie can help. A certified specialist in periodontics and prosthodontics, Dr. Bobby Birdie can show you your options and assist in determining if dental implants, teeth in one day, or implant supported dentures are right for you. Book your free consultation at bcperio.ca. That's bcperio.ca. Find your dental solution with Dr. Bobby Birdie and Dr. Ron Zokel. BCP E-R-I-O dot C-A. A-M-650. Let a smile be your umbrella on a rainy, rainy day. And if your sweetie cries, just tell her that a smile will always pay. Whenever skies are gray, don't worry or fret. A smile will bring you sunshine and you never get wet. So let a smile be your umbrella. Be your big umbrella on a rainy, rainy day. Well, you know what they say, let a smile be your umbrella and you'll get wet. <laughs> but if you go and visit our good friends, Dr. Bobby Birdie and Dr. Ron Zokel at their brand new clinic, you're going to be a happy, wet person, right? Uh, <laughs> happiness, yes. Oh, for God's sake. That's what the show is all about. That's what you gentlemen do for a living. You make people happy. You put big smiles on their faces. Yeah, we, 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 say we change people's lives. You do. You do. Um, besides, you know, the, the uh, physical look of a happy face, I guess it goes a little bit deeper too. You're taking care of their uh, their their health. Oh, and that's the foundation of it, really, because when you have that combination of health and longevity and beauty aesthetics, then you have exactly what we like to offer. Let me ask you: There's somebody listening to the show right now, and by the way, our telephone number is six zero four two eight zero zero six fifty. If you'd like to speak to our doctors on the show today. People have their teeth fixed, yeah, because it looks nice, but we just sort of touched on this briefly, and I'd like to go a little further down the line with this. We talked about health in general. What would your teeth be affecting if you didn't have good dental care? Um, well, being the periodontist, I guess I'll talk about this one, right, Ron? Sure. Um, you know, having periodontal disease or having infection in your mouth or having not well-kept teeth in general, and, and it relates a lot to gum disease in different parts of your mouth, but, um, you know, there's a lot of research that's showing that that's starting to 
relate to different types types of diseases in your body, whether it be diabetes and cardiovascular disease and, and atherosclerosis and high cholesterol and things like that. So it's one of those things where having a, a happy mouth is having a happy body, and they are in, everything is interrelated. So I think it's kind of facetious for us to think that it's not. I think everything needs to be related together and, and go about it really well. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and just think about the gums around your teeth are the, one of the major entries by which microorganisms or bacteria can get into the body. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, every, every single time we do anything dentally, there's always some bacteria that ends up into the bloodstream, so it's always something to think about. And for our people that are listening to the program, we do have a little bit of an older audience to the show, which is good, people like in their 40s and up. Um, but somebody has bad dental health, you don't want to be like necessarily kissing a bad <laughs> face full of teeth. <laughs> yeah, that's a terrible direction to go, Tom. You know that. <laughs> the imagery is terrible. <laughs> well, I just, I just put it out there, you know. <laughs> Let me ask our producer, Paul, did you, did you just have a line that wants to speak with doctors? Oh, Pam is on the line. Let's say good morning to Pam. Hello, Pam. Hi, good morning. How are you guys doing? I'm well, doctors. Great. Uh, hi, yeah. hi, Pam. Hi, yeah. Hi, Dr. Birdie and Dr. Yoko. Uh, uh, this did, is did, Pam Sohota here. I just happened to... Listen to your show here. And, and did you have a question for the gentleman? Uh, yeah, actually, I had I had a question for Doctor Birdie. Mm-hmm. Sure. Go for it. Go for it. Go for the question. Uh, yeah, Go ahead. I actually I had my implant done uh, six months ago. Yep. And uh, how's it uh, going? Uh, it was good, actually. I was quite, uh, you know, in the beginning, I was quite scared. I thought, oh, my goodness. But Dr. Birdie uh, did awesome job. So I just wanted to thank you on that. And I had an uh, implant, and my crown was done, and the process was very pain-free. Oh, wow. That's great. That's I cool. was so scared. And now it's been six months, and, I, you know, I like within a week, I didn't even feel like that wasn't my own tooth. Pam, let me ask you a question. This is Tom here. Yeah. Now, let's let's. I, I'm asking you for some advice. There is somebody listening to the show right now. They need to go and see our two doctors. Should they be afraid? Not at all. No. Okay. <laughs> no. Like I was the one, like pretty, you know, chicken. But as soon as I had that, I thought, oh my goodness, it's kind of piece of cake. <laughs> and uh, I mean, you know, I had no pl- no pain at all, and it was just wonderful. And the funny thing was, uh, he already did that, and I was wondering. I said, "Well, you know, is it all done?" He goes, uh, "Oh, Mrs. Sota, it's all done, and uh, you're good to go." And could you get out of the chair now? We need someone else to sit down, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, oh, my goodness, this is this kind of piece of cake. So, so did we ask you what the doctor did for you? What what was your procedure? Do you remember, doctor? I remember, I think, it was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we, we did we take a tooth out and put an implant in for you and, yeah. and, and do a mm-hmm. crown? Is that right? That's right, yeah. Implant was done and then the crown. Yeah, exactly. Great. Yeah, no, and I think it was on, teeth on, on a, lower Teeth cr- in one day. Yeah, teeth in a day, absolutely. No pain? It was no one pain. day, and it was an amazing job. And how long did it take you to feel your old self again? Pardon me? I said, how long did it take you to feel your old self again? Uh, didn't take that long, though, actually. Uh, you know, I would say probably uh, within a week. Like, I had nice. a little bit pain, but then after that, I was fine. And now I don't even feel that I have a fake tooth in there. <laughs> <laughs> Has that, have you showed it to anybody? Has anybody noticed? I, if, for me, no. Like, uh, you know, uh, nobody noticed at all. About, you know, it was kind of big, but, like in the back, but mm-hmm. uh, I don't even feel myself. <laughs> so it's just like having a real tooth back yeah. there. You know, that I have, yeah, exactly. Like, I don't feel at all uh, that it's a fake tooth So, all. So, Pam, if somebody else was in your situation, you would tell them to go and see uh, Dr. Zoko or Dr. Brady? Yeah, yeah, not yeah. a doubt. I would definitely, you know, uh, refer to, I, even though, like, uh, at work, I told everybody because I had pain before and I was just kind of uh, putting it off for a while. I said, oh, I don't know if I should get it done or mm-hmm. not. But definitely, and I, you know, told all my coworkers, I said, you know what, you need to go to Dr. Birdie. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. You don't feel any pain at all, and it's just great. It's you know, great Pam, I, so I, I, Pam, I think you'd be a good person to do some commercials for the good doctors. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that I just wanted to say thank you. It was just, just great. Well, yeah. I, want, I want to thank you for calling in. And it sounds to me there like you went to the uh, to the dental clinic more for a good time than actually to have some work done. You're just <laughs> laughing your way through this. 
Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, he did a great job. Well, fantastic. So, thank. Then I, I just want to. I, I, I just want to say I wanted to thank you for calling. I really appreciate your time, and you have a happy Victoria Day weekend. Thank you. Yeah, you guys too. Have Th- a great day. Thank Take you. Care. You too. Six zero four two eight zero zero six fifty is the local number. Six zero four two eight zero zero six fifty or one eight seven seven two eight zero zero six fifty. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. We can take a call. Because we have people getting implants and some rotten jobs back there in Manitoba somewhere. <laughs> so, well, we have patients coming in from all over the world. They can at least call in. They can Absolutely. do that for free. Absolutely. You really have people coming in from all over the world? Oh, to sure. See? Do you really? Yep. For Holy years cow. and years and years. Yep. You're doing a good job of marketing. I should do something like that. I don't like that. <laughs> Let me ask you while we're waiting for some more people to get on the line. 604-280-0650. Um, I want to come see you. I'm having problems in my mouth. And now I'm afraid about, well, the consultation is going to cost me a lot of dough. That's what will be the truth. Yeah, that, the, the best thing about a consultation in the office is that for an implant consult, it's complimentary. Mm-hmm. So you come in, mm-hmm. you, get, you, get, you get a time where you sit down and we'll take a, do a thorough examination. And when we're done, it's, uh, you, you'll get a treatment option and you'll know all your options. And, and a lot of times that comes along with a free cone beam CT scan, which is you know, a savings of sometimes up to $700, which is pretty good. And you don't rush through it. I mean, I've seen you at work. Yep. You know, I stood in the corner and I kept quiet. Mm-hmm. I, I took everything in there. <laughs> you got this really great new office. You've got some marvelous uh, uh, state-of-the-art equipment. Mm-hmm. You do the job right there. You talk to people in a language they can understand. And like you say, you can, you can on the computer, you can show them things, and then you can uh, print up uh, uh, an estimate right there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, before you leave, you'll, you'll know you're kind of the answers to your questions. You'll know your options, and uh, we'll go from there. Let's give you your address again. Uh, the address in Vancouver mm-hmm. is 777 West Broadway. That's Unit 501, just on the corner of Broadway and Willow. Mm-hmm. And then the the office in Coquitlam is uh, 1175 Johnson Street. It's right um, just in the in kind of a, a a shopping center right next to the Coquitlam Center there on on Johnson and Glen. Now you had a big open house there, I guess what last week? Yeah, we had At a big Vancouver open house office? in the Vancouver office. Absolutely, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of dentists and people come by and. Uh, just nice to, to be able to kind of throw a bit of a shindig, whatever comes out, comes by and takes a look, and, you know, it's a lot of fun, absolutely. And Dr. Zuckel, you're moving over soon. I'm I'm certainly expecting to be there. You get in the corner office? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if I get there before any of the other four doctors, I might. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe what we should, yeah, we talked about these other doctors, but we haven't mentioned their names. Who are they? Um, we've got three other specialists that are in the office. Dr. Tim Gould is a periodontist. He's been working for in the, in the community for over 30 years. Uh, Dr. Josh Kleiman. Uh, actually, a great thing for him is his daughter's getting married on Sunday, so I'm, we're going to that wedding, which is congratulations to him and his family. But he's also a certified specialist in periodontics. And then we have Dr. Peter Munns, who's been practicing for over 40 years, and uh, he's just doing a great job, still working real hard, and uh, he's also a certified specialist in periodontics. Now, the good thing about your family is, and, and yours too, is is that uh, when you married the ladies that you married, uh, all of a sudden we have a dentist in the family. Do you do much work for your own family? Or? Oh, I do so much work. For my <laughs> I, I got I got extended family coming to see me. I got people flying in from the United States that's family to come see me. It's, uh, yeah. It's either you say no to everyone or you say yes to everyone. There's no in between, right? Because you say I'll treat you, but not you. That's yeah, mm-hmm. doesn't doesn't work that way at all. Yeah, it's, it, it, true. Sorry, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Let's just suppose that somebody has just tuned into the show and they hear us talking. They say, well, you know what? I'm going to go and get some dentures. Why should they get implants instead of dentures? Oh, Ron, you want to take that one? Which direction do I want to handle this in? I mean, we can talk about it in so many different ways. Uh, quality of life, I think, is a large factor. Your ability to choose specific types of food for health purposes uh, becomes better. Reduced irritation to the bowel system because in with with if you're chewing hard foods or fibrous foods you don't pre-digest them properly Mm -hmm. Uh, the social life aspect of it in every way shape or form that you can think about it your life is going to be better if your teeth are fixed and solid yeah that's true because that's awkward uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, and I, th- I can't help but think about this young lady who was getting married, and I saw this on an internet, uh, where where the wine was being passed from her and then to her hu- husband-to-be who was right next to her, and, <laughs> and, and and she was taking the wine goblet, and she took a sip out of it, and then it was taken to pass over to hers, and she reached over and pulled her denture out of that wine <laughs> goblet before her husband could take a drink out of it. Uh, uh, this is not good. <laughs> I, you know what? We, we, we laugh about it, but I'll tell you right now, uh, you sit down and talk to somebody who's been wearing a denture for you know any period of time, even if it's you know a significant period of time, 20 years, let's say, 
those things are big deals to them. They mm-hmm. worry about mm-hmm. when when they're talking or when they laugh too hard or if they if they open their mouth too wide or if they 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 bite something that's a bit too vigorous or the, the one of the biggest things I hear about is is for patients is they come in and they say you know is that the restaurant and and we, I got some food underneath my denture and it was a few seeds and you know I just waiting to go to the to the bathroom so I can go to the bathroom they excuse themselves and then they sit there and they wait around till the bathroom is empty so they can go and look at the mirror and pull their denture out and rinse it off and put it back in because of the the worry about it and that's what teeth in a day is is the best thing to change is that 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 whole confidence level is so much higher your, your teeth won't move nothing gets underneath them in the sense that it won't bother you if something gets underneath them um, it's like having fixed bridge or fixed teeth again. Yeah. So, yeah, so we'll, uh, go sorry, ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Sorry. Uh, okay. I, I was going to point out as well, in addition to that, what people don't realize is the insidious loss of more and more bone in the upper jaw and the lower jaw. And as time goes on, the mouth collapses vertically. So people, we can spot people with dentures from a mile away. They may not realize it, but we know that. But other people see it as aging. Mm. And and when as soon as you take people who have been wearing dentures for a long time and you put them into an implant supported set of teeth, they can look immediately ten to fifteen years younger. And they may too think that you know I've had these dentures in my mouth and that's just the way they are. That's the way they fit, and that's not the case. No, mm. absolutely. At no. the bare minimum, even having a few implants placed just so your dentures can snap onto them will make a night and day difference. So even that level of treatment initially will make a big difference in your quality of life. We've said this once, we've said it twice, maybe three times on the show, but you're never too old. Never. Never, 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 never. Because you could live to be 115. Absolutely. They or say, more. They say that person that's going to live to 150 is already born. No. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah. Anybody in this room? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd love we to We can live only for, wish. <laughs> I'd love to live forever. It'd be great. <laughs> you know what? I'm with you on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes the way I act doesn't uh, necessarily focus on that, but uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind living forever. Tom, do you want it sugar-coated or how do you like it? Sugar-coated is fine. Teeth in a day. Again, we talked about this earlier. We're going to keep talking about it to the cows get home because it's so very, very important. People figure, well, you know, this is going to be a big procedure. It's going to be nine, ten months, and I'm going to walk around talking like this with no teeth <laughs> in my mouth. But you don't let them leave your office like that. No, not at all. You know, you, you leave with a fixed set of teeth. And what I mean by that is they don't touch your tissues. You don't worry about getting food underneath them and having a problem with them. They're much smaller than your denture, and they're fixed. Like it's having like having teeth again, on that, your on, on implants in one day. What about some? Give me another. I love the stories you guys tell. <laughs> Ron, it's your turn. Give me another story about somebody that came to see you with a problem. Oh gosh, uh, I think it's <laughs> a, a few. There's a few cases that pop into mind bec- over the years because, and, and you look at the more dramatic situations. Unusual for sure, but they're dramatic. And I remember, and I may have stated the, uh, about this last time we were on air, and and it was about a, a middle-aged lady who was about 43, 44 years of age uh, who has had, they had dentures for about 30 years because at about age 15, 16, her parents had her all her teeth taken out and had dentures. Their mentality at the time was, well, she's going to need them anyway, so let's give it to her for 16 so she can look really good. Mm-hmm. Well, by the time she hits her early 40s, she no longer can wear a set of dentures in her mouth because of all the bone loss that has been created subsequent to getting the dentures. And and her quality of life is done. Now, she's still a beautiful lady, just, I mean, just gorgeous lady. And she came in, and she and when we put the teeth in her mouth, and she could see solid teeth there, the tears started to come down her eyes when she realized that they weren't able to be taken out and, and they were fixed in place and solid. And the most surprising thing is she came back a year, about a year, year and a half later, married. But it's not just that she got married. It's that she got married to somebody who was 20 years younger than her. <laughs> good for her. <laughs> good for her. Yeah. You go, girl. <laughs> yeah, good for her. <laughs> really? You talk about a lifestyle change. Wow. Now, we've heard the reverse happen, but... <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. And, you know, dentistry has is, is really changed over the years, too. I remember when I was just a little guy, uh, first started off in school. And back in those days, you weren't, you're too young to remember. But, uh, Ron, maybe you do remember, the you go to a school, and then what they do is they'd send you down to the government-run clinic to see the dentist. Yes. Remember that? Of course. Yeah. There was a place on Granville, and that's all I can remember, because I hated the guy. Uh, <laughs> Who and, didn't? <laughs> but they would, he says to my mother, he says, well, you know what? Uh, his teeth should all come out. And my mother thought this guy was nuts. And to be taken, everybody's unless I guess unless it's necessary. But a, a young child at the age of six, to, 
Oh, oh, that doesn't make a lot of sense no, to me. No, not on any any level whatsoever, anywhere. <laughs> Needless to say, we went somewhere else. But... Oh, absolutely, yeah. and it's good. And it's perhaps if we had a downfall in years past, it, it was some of the dentists back then were contributing to the rapid deterioration. And I take a look at Great Britain, for example, when they had the social program. It was actually cheaper. Well, it was. Is all cheap for the patient because the government paid for it, but the dentist made more money by taking a tooth out than putting it and restoring the tooth into its health. Wow! And so you had a lot more people become edentulous. So the business of dentistry got in the way of dental health and best an optimal treatment. And that's one of the dilemmas that dentists have. They got to do this. We are have a responsibility to make sure people are treated properly first and set our care of our patients in front of ourselves from a monetary perspective. I remember back in those days too, you go see the dentist and you're a good little boy, a little girl, you get out of the chair and then they give you candy. I thought, <laughs> that's kind of smart, right? <laughs> that's like Halloween time, you send out the candies and a card. Kind of sort of, <laughs> kind of sort of. <laughs> so people can come and see you at your clinic, brand new clinic in Broadway, uh, state-of-the-art facilities, free consultation. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can come on by and we can we can take care of you. And even if you want to come by just to see what can be done and, and what what information that they that you want to receive, um, or if you want to have us take a look and get a second opinion, all those things are, all those options are open to you and, and uh, we're not going to turn you away. Let's put it that way. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe last time when we spoke, you said that you just do uh, everyday dentistry as well? Well, no, we don't do a lot of everyday dentistry. We don't do a lot of fillings or, or, or general dentistry because we, we aren't general dentists in the office. But I would tell you that um, uh, in general, we do most of it's specialty work. So it's either mm -hmm. surgical or, or implant related. Um, that being said, if, if when someone does come in and they need someone, um, overall, we have a lot of great colleagues that we would refer someone to and find a great home for them and someone we could collaborate with because we want to work with our colleagues as much as possible. Absolutely. Great. Last week on the show or last time you were on the program, you were kind enough to give us some advice on how to keep those teeth on our head as long as we could. Could we maybe ask you for a couple more tips? Mm -hmm. I know it's now brushed longer, not harder. <laughs> well, I, I have one thing. I, I tell my patients, lips together, teeth apart. In other words, there's always a cleaning factor, but I, but that <laughs> you can exaggerate it and it looks ridiculous, I know. But the, the concept is, and what I say, if you never bring your teeth together for the rest of your life, you'll stay out of the dental office. Is that because it's passing it's bacteria because the acid? Force is, because oh. force is such a great factor oh, okay. in the degree of deterioration in the teeth. And I know that's a ridiculous and glib statement to make, but in, in keep in mind that the more force you generate on your teeth, the higher potential you have to break things down. That's not to say you have to stay out of the dental office, but it'll be <laughs> if you can keep your teeth apart, the more you can do that, the less deterioration you're going to have. How often should we go and see the dentist? Oh, at least year. once a year. Once a year? At least once yeah. a year, yeah. He says once a year. Twice. I say twice a year. <laughs> yeah, you, you need to go. I, I, well, I say at least. The reason being is because, you know, you go to see your, your family doctor normally for a checkup at least once a year, so I'll say at least once a year you go to the dentist and you should get your teeth cleaned at least once a year, if not twice a year. So at least have a have a uh, what's the word I'm looking for here a dental checkup. Yep. Yeah. And if you need nothing else done, have them cleaned, and off you go. Absolutely. Yeah. And one thing I would just point out in the difference that we might have here in the rate of it very much depends on the condition and health of your of your teeth. If your gums have had some serious aspect of degeneration where it's been treated before, it might even be as much as every three months. Oh, and that's like okay. in, in the perio office, that's a routine. Like we have a lot of patients that have severe disease and that we have to continue to maintain them to keep their teeth as long as possible because as much as we do implants, we're in the business of keeping teeth. So mm -hmm. um, when, in doing that, yeah, a lot of three-month and four-month recall schedules are normal. And, and let me also point out, there's a lot of people out there with dental implants. It is imperative that they get checked on a regular basis, at least twice, once or twice a year, mm -hmm. minimum, because the insidiousness of the any damage that can occur around an implant is not able to be felt by the patient. Doesn't become loose, never becomes painful, but we can see it in an X-ray, and if you don't take the X-ray, you can't see it. Let's say people have crooked teeth. Think as it happens, right? Yeah. And they say, "Well, I'm just going to go and get some braces." I, my my sense of that is. Uh, really? <laughs> and what are you going to do? How are you going to put them on? I mean, there's more to it than that. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's a simple process, but more often than not, it's a complex process and requires a very, very skilled specialist to get the best results. And that's another level of specialty that we would refer out to somebody 
else to an orthodontist, for example, to get that evaluation to find out what would it take to straighten these teeth and keep them that way. Mm-hmm. And the other thing, too, is that a lot of times being able to use braces and, and, and be able to go through the treatment means that you've got to keep your teeth even cleaner than you do now. And you, so that's a big deal, right? And on top of that, being able to have the right kind of health around your teeth to be able to make things look good in general, too. So definitely it takes a, a collaboration of multiple people. What are um, uh, implant-supported uh, dentures? What, how does that work? Well, implant-supported dentures work in the sense that you know, we place some implants, and whether it be... Um, you know, something that fits right on top of the implants only or is kind of sitting on the tissue but's retained by the implant. In general, what it does is we have little attachments that stick out of the implants and that they, they your dentures will snap in, for, for lack of a better word, just to snap in and snap out. And, and actually, teeth in a day can be done that way as well. So it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. There's different options out there. But the best thing about implant-supported dentures is that it's going to help to keep your bone around, mm-hmm. which is the biggest thing, because mm-hmm. an implant helps to stimulate the bone long term and help to keep your own bone around long term. And the other thing too is that by having something to snap your denture into, it keeps your denture in, in in place. So you're not worrying about things moving around so much. The amount of force you can generate, what you can chew, increases, and in general, just a better quality of life. Somebody's listening to the show today. They think, well, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna investigate this. Um, what's it going to cost me to go in for the consultation? Well, right now the consultations are complimentary for implant consults, so you get a free C- free CT scan as well, and a, and a complimentary consultation, which is a pretty awesome deal. Well, I keep asking you this. I mean, I've asked you three or four times on the show, but it's uh, radio shows are like a bus. People get on, people get off. People sure. get on, and 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 you know, you tell the story over and over and over again. But sometimes you got to throw enough stuff against the wall till it sticks. <laughs> oh, exactly. And and the, that consultation's for anything. In, for instance, I yesterday I had a patient came came come in that had their couple implants done in Puerto Vallarta and and had some work done there. And they came in and sat down, looked at stuff, and it was not ideal. Let's put it that way. And uh, a lot of the stuff has to be either redone or fixed. And it, it's it's difficult. But they came in for their complimentary consultation and their complimentary CT scan to get the information because they were having some issues. Yeah, and let me also interject here for a second. I, I want to address what a CT scan is. Sure. Because while it's an x-ray system, people think, well, I got some x-rays. This is a CT scan is an x-ray system, but there is a world of difference. The CT scan is a three-dimensional x-ray that normally costs in the hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Usually three to four hundred dollars is a C, is a value of a CT scan. And it provides us with information that we can f- see that we can't see in any other x-ray system. So when we talk about a CT scan, I just want everybody out there to understand the quality of what this is and the value of it. If you're getting it complimentary, that's huge. We digitize you. That's the best part, is we actually take you and we can actually, and I don't mean that by any way. Like a beam me up, Scotty. Exactly. <laughs> but when, 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 we, when we put you on a, in a scan and we just look at the computer, we have a picture of your entire, all, all your, your face, the, 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 the tissues and the bone and everything. And we can we sit there and we plan what we're going to do right in front of you. So you actually know exactly what's going to happen if you want to know. And we're able to plan everything in three dimensions, which gives us the most accurate way of planning every single case. I haven't asked you, but what are dental implants actually made of? Oh, implants are made of uh, titanium oxide metal in general. Um, and that stuff is uh, the same stuff we use in a lot of times in prosthetic joints, prosthetic knees. Actually, the person that actually first discovered or developed a dental implant was a medical doctor. Mm-hmm. And uh, he kind of stumbled upon it and uh, brought it to North America. But in general... Um, that's what they're made of. They can also be made out of something called zirconia. Those kind of implants just aren't in fashion as much. Let's put it that way. They don't, they're, not, they're not meant to last as long. Let's put it that way. But, uh, and there will be differing views on all this, I'm sure. But in general, everything's made of titanium. Wow. This is exciting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and what I like about you guys is, you know, you, you know everything about it. You know all the answers. I ask you a question, bang, you got the answer. But you're, you continue to learn things, don't you? Oh, all the time, every day. Yeah. 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 Every day either reinforces what you already know to be true or you find something else that you add to your repertoire. And Ron, I know you're a teaching doctor. Mm-hmm. You do a lot of and teaching. We both are, I might add. Yeah, you both are, sorry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, we've been teaching this a long time. Uh, den- and by the way, it's interesting to know that the profession of dentistry may be the second oldest profession in the world. The truth of the matter is, is, is that we have stuff going back. 7,500 years evidence of implants being used and done. Yeah, there were people in Egypt putting in like that, shale pieces yeah. into people's teeth and really? strapping them to other oh. teeth, and yeah, pretty amazing stuff. And yeah, and, and the modern stuff that that really got started with Dr. Brandmark back in about he did his research, started his research in the 50s, 1950s, and started to promote it 
publicly and get it out in the workplace in the 1970s is really the foundation of modern implant dentistry is where we are right now. Why are we getting such great results? I often wonder, you said it's the second most oldest profession in the world. I wonder if those doctors ever worked with people from the oldest profession in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that joke. I was waiting for something to happen. Yeah, I, I thought I'd it. just throw it out there, huh? <laughs> you guys, you set me up. You got to know by now I'm going to go for it. You're listening to Boomer Life on AM650 Radio. I'm Tom Lucas, and our very special guest in studio with us today, Dr. Bobby Birdie and Dr. Ron Zokel. We're talking about implants. We're talking about smiles. We're talking about lifestyles. And we have a little bit more on the show coming up right after this. Canada's only weekly radio show dedicated to the baby boomer lifestyle. This is Boomer Life on AM650. Missing teeth? Don't want dentures anymore? Not happy with the way your smile looks? Dr. Ron Zokel can help. As an internationally recognized authority in oral implantology, Dr. Zokel is dedicated to all your dental care needs and can help solve your dental problems and help you achieve optimum oral health. Book your free consultation or learn more at drzokel.com. That's D-R-Z-O-K-O-L.com. If you want to wake up feeling healthier, start at the place that strives to deliver the healthiest beds in Canada, Innovative Sleep Solutions. Owners Dave and Terry have over 50 years of combined sleep industry experience. They'll find you the perfect bed, and with their 120-night comfort guarantee, if it's not perfect, simply exchange it. Nature's Embrace, Rustonic, Sealy, Serta, and Simmons, including the new Medical Magnet Bed and Certified Organic Latex. Now that's innovative. Innovative Sleep Solutions. They won't be undersold. King George Boulevard near White Rock. Innovative of sleep.ca AM650 You made me so very happy I'm so glad you came into my life Yeah, you made me so very happy David Clayton Thomas blood sweat and tears I'm so happy I went to see Dr. Bobby Birdie and Dr. Ron Zokel <laughs> they put their fingers in my mouth and made me a happy boy <laughs> During the break, um, Bobby, you were telling us a, a little story. Would you mind telling that story on the air? Because I think it's a great one. Well, we have uh, one of some of the things that we're able to do with uh, just kind of teaching so much as much as we do and being collaborative. And, you know, I know Ron and I both lecture. I've been, you know, last year I think I traveled like 40 times to give a talk somewhere in the world. We we, le- we lecture over the world as much as we possibly can and, and just promote the profession as much as possible and learn as much as we possibly can. But um, sometimes that, that comes to your benefit. We had a, I had a patient recently where... Um, you know, she had treatment done somewhere, actually it was in Canada, it was in the lower mainland and, and, uh, things have fallen apart to say the least. And what's ended up happening is, you know, she spent all of her money, you know, at one time, you know, to be able to do it. And, you know, we're not, we're not here to, to tell you that sometimes it can't be a lot of money. It can sometimes, you know, and, mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, and I'm not here to tell you that it's not because, you know, sometimes it's, it's a lot for anybody. It's a lot of times the people, pe- people get treatment that I couldn't afford. Let's put it that way. So, um, but what ended up happening is she just in general came in and I talked to her and she just said, listen, can you do anything? Can you fix anything? And I said, well, you know, there are a few cases always that I sit down and I take a look and see if I can do something to help the patient out, whether it be for myself or I'll get other people involved. So we were able to get uh, an implant company and, and, the, and the dental lab involved and, and they both were willing to provide parts and pieces and provide a lot of the treatment for either no charge to the patient or a very minimal charge. And um, I dropped my fee down to little to nothing kind of thing and and uh, we're able to provide her with care um and fix things for her because you know it, it's a it's you know, call it a pro bono case a, a charity case we don't mm-hmm. do them very often but there are certain cases where things are just warranted for someone that you know that that deserves better let's put it that way you spoke about payment for just a moment and uh let's let's get to the nitty-gritty on this if somebody says oh this sounds fine but you know, I don't know what it's going to cost, and do I have to pay it all up front? Um, you know what? In general, you pay for what you have done as so you, as you done, go. As you go. So even uh, a lot of times where we provide a lot of things at one time, you, you pay for that one piece of, of treatment, and then you're healing, let's say, for a few months, and then we continue on if it's a, it's a reconstructive case. Uh, you pay for what you have done when you have it done. That's kind of how it goes. And, Ron, we were saying that, of course, we have complimentary consultations. Somebody comes to see either one of you gentlemen. It's free, of course, F-R-E-E, gratis, free. <laughs> but what do you do for them? Tell, just give me an idea of what they get for free. One of the things we start with is an understanding of what their objectives are. And and I have an idea where their priorities lie, because that's one of our 
mm -hmm. significant goals is to make sure they're happy with, the, with what we do. The other is to determine where they are in a health state in the mouth and find out what we believe to be some of the concerns and problems that they have and to itemize and list those things. And, and then to sit down and talk with each other and, and talk about the things that could happen, talk about how it relates to their priorities and discuss, w get a ballpark generation so that where they want to go and where we think is appropriate to go is in harmony with each other. In some cases they say, doc, just whatever has to be done, just do it. Mm -hmm. And there's others that say, you know, something we can't quite afford to go all this direction at this time, can we do it a little bit by little bit, whatever it may be. But we try to tailor our services to meet the needs of the person who's in front of us. You talk to them about their lifestyle too? Uh, we do. We, we try to generalize that as much as possible. Mm -hmm. If they want to go well, into details, yeah. fine and dandy. But, uh, <laughs> but we, we do ask them, how important is it that you look good? And, and for some people, it's not that so. And other people have it as a high priority. Well, there are, you, you, you might have a patient like me, a guy that's on radio, who cares what I look like, but you know, <laughs> it doesn't matter. But somebody might be walking down the street or have an office job, or maybe it's a young person out there dating. They want to look as good as possible. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think you have to gauge every patient. Uh, so for some patients where it's going to be multiple different options they could go through or multiple things that, that they mean to them, we ask them simple questions. Would you Do you want something that stays in your mouth all the time, or do you want something that comes out of your mouth? Do you... Do you want to, you know, does it matter to you about how well things look or is it more of a functional thing or a health aspect? And try to rank these in, in what, what you think is most to least important because that allows us to help kind of dictate or just kind of, you know, push you in the right direction of different types of options that will help you. Because the last thing we want to do is for you to come in, spend money, and, and really feel good, feel not feel really good about the results you have because that's something we don't accept. Yeah. If there's somebody in our audience who is thinking about uh, doing the implant route, uh, what I suggest you do is, is give Dr. Birdie or Dr. Zokal a call next week. You'll make an appointment with them. They'll come down. It's complimentary. Cost them nothing. You got some great coffee. Absolutely. They'll take care of them when they get there. And uh, what is your telephone number in the Vancouver office? It's 604-872-0222. And if somebody lives in Coquitlam? It's 604-936-8244. And your website is? bcperio.ca. That's B-C-P-E-R-I-O.ca. And, and they my name's get, Bobby. <laughs> and, my, and, and they can get a lot of information on that website, too. They can. There's lots of videos. There's lots of, uh, there's some before and after smiles. Uh, you can read all about all of our bios, all the doctors. There's pictures of some of the staff. Um, it's really as informative as possible. Even We even have a section now where it talks about different ways in, of brushing and flossing and, and, and videos and show you how to do things, which is pretty awesome. So you're never too young, you're never too old. Absolutely. Have a look at that website. And do me a favor, say hi to the two Sharons for me. Sure, no problem. <laughs> and I'll be back to, for some more coffee soon. Great. Gentlemen, thank you for being with us. Bye thank you now, so Tom. much. It's Boomer Life on AM650. I'm Tom Lucas. We've been speaking with Dr. Bobby Birdie and Dr. Ron Zokel. If you're thinking about implants, it's a great way to go. Change your whole darn life. Let me tell you, give them a call this week. It'll be worthwhile. Well, I'm back at 6 o'clock tonight. Mind if I sleep in the back of your car? <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. You can get into it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the Retro Rock Request Show tonight at 6 o'clock till 10. So uh, call in, say hi, make a request, send something out for Victoria Day. Have a great week, gentlemen. Thank you for being here. Thank Thanks, you so much. We'll talk to you tonight at 6 o'clock. It's Tom Lucas. Thank you. Bye. The proceeding was a special advertising feature on AM 650.